Hello, everyone. Of course, it's the steering committee that has to sit down in front. Hi, I'm Maura Marks. I'm a member of the DPLA steering committee, and uh, I'm at the Secretariat at the Berkman Center with my wonderful colleagues, John Palfrey, Rebecca Haycock, Kenny Whitebloom, and the whole Berkman team. Uh, I'm here right now to help introduce a little um, transition moment. It's a moment of transition in the decision-making process for the DPLA. As John explained earlier, there is now a legal entity that is DPLA Inc. with a board that is empowered to make decisions. And you'll get to meet them in a little while, so please be thinking about any questions you might have for them. But before we meet the board, we'd really like to celebrate the steering committee that has been making decisions for DPLA since that now historic meeting in October 2010 that launched this project. This is an incredibly dedicated group. It's a large group, about 17 leaders from libraries, from uh, the nonprofit world, from foundations, who have worked together to bring the DPLA from that one large aspirational sentence to this moment where we're really seeing uh, infrastructure start to happen and, and this project moving forward. So it's really remarkable if you think about that for a moment because they're from such diverse backgrounds, it's such a large group, and most of these people have been used to making, to being the decision maker at their home institutions. They're not used to really working in such a collaborative way, I would say. They're used to having the final authority. So to watch this group work together and to move by rough consensus, just pushing forward to this shared goal has been absolutely remarkable. And we'd like to celebrate each and every one of them. So I hope you will uh, join me in giving each a round of applause as we welcome them here up on stage. I'm going to call them up alphabetically and give you a chance to show your uh, appreciation for all they've done. First, we have the Dean of Libraries at the University of Michigan, co-chair of the Business Models Workstream. Does he recognize himself? Newly elected member of the board, Paul Courant. Next, the undisputed godfather of the DPLA, a passionate, eloquent, and untiring advocate, Dr. Robert Darnton, a university librarian at Harvard. Dr. Carla Hayden, Chief Executive Officer of the Enoch Pratt Free Library in Baltimore, Maryland. She co-chaired the audience and participation work stream, hosted workshops, and served on the nominating committee for the board. Carla, thank you. You're gonna go back down, okay. You know you stay, so we can take a picture, yeah. Next comes Susan Hildreth, so you can help direct from up here. Executive Director of the Institute of Museum and Library Services, who did uh, step down when we were getting funding, but who has been an incredible supporter throughout. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Mara. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jerry McGann. University professor at the University of Virginia from the first meeting in October 2010 all the way through, has been a steadfast uh, supporter offering his voice, counsel, and support to DPLA. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> Dwight McInvale, director of the Georgetown County Library in South Carolina, helped us think about small and rural libraries, and has been an exceptional ambassador to this group for DPLA. Thanks, Dwight. Oh, thank you so much, Dwight. Thank you. 
John Palfrey, head of school at Phillips Andover Academy, chair of the steering committee, leader extraordinaire, has led the parade with patience, unflappability, lucidity, and grace. John, thank you so much. <laughs> Peggy Rudd, Director and Librarian of the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, chaired the Audience and Participation Work Stream, hosted workshops, and continues to act as an ambassador to the state libraries. Thank you so much, Peggy. You're welcome. <laughs> Amy Ryan, President of the Boston Public Library. Early on, she co-chaired the Content Work Stream and has generously offered her wisdom regarding the needs uh, of the public library world. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, Doran Weber, Vice President of Programs at the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, Vice Chair of the Steering Committee, acclaimed writer, cross-country bicyclist, and for us, most importantly, a steadfast champion of this dream to create a digital resource for, uh, for all in this country, Doran Weber. There are a number of members who are not here with us right now. We'd also just like to give them a round of applause. Luis Herrera from the San Francisco Public Library, Chuck Henry from CLEAR, Brewster Kale from the Internet Archive, Deanna Markham, originally Library of Congress, now Ithaca, Michael Keller from Stanford, and David Spatafora from uh, the Newbury Library, as well as Carl Malamud, who was an earlier member of the steering committee. In absentia, we thank them. We also have one more member who is still standing on stage. Maura oh, Marks oh. <laughs> has been a tireless leader for this effort since its inception a couple of years ago. She's chaired, uh, she's not only worked with the steering committee, she's also directed the DBA Secretariat, and we would like to give her a special token of our affection and thanks. will transition from having to make the decisions and get those emails that say, would you please let us know what you think about this important matter in two hours, yes. to being uh, an advisory group and to being ambassadors for DPLA. We hope that they continue to spread the good word. So thanks, everyone. I'd like to ask yeah, John and Paul to stay on the stage. Photo, oh, should we do a photo? Yes. Yeah, oh, of course. Over, yeah. Come on. All right. We can't have that Yeah, that's true. Flowers. The flowers. Do they match? Not the unique flowers. 